Smog is a type of air pollution in which visibility is reduced. It is a combination of smoke oak and fog, and it can be caused by a variety of factors, including vehicle emissions, industrial emissions, and biomass burning. Smog is most common in urban areas with a lot of traffic and industry. The smog disaster is common in cities that are located in valleys or basins, where the smog can become trapped and cannot be easily dispersed by the wind. The smog disaster can have a number of negative impacts on human health and the environment. Smog may cause irritation of the eyes, nose, and throat. It can also trigger asthma attacks and other respiratory problems. Smog can also worsen heart disease and other cardiovascular problems. In addition to its health impacts, smog can also damage plants and animals. Smog can reduce crop yields and damage forests. It can also kill fish and other aquatic life. Smog as a global problem. Smog is a global problem. It affects cities all over the world, regardless of income level. Some of the most polluted cities in the world include Beijing, China, Delhi, India, and Mexico City. Mexico, the challenges of smog in developing countries. Smog is a particular challenge in developing countries. These countries often have rapidly growing populations and economies, which can lead to increased pollution levels. Additionally, developing countries may not have the resources or infrastructure to effectively control air pollution. As a result, Smog is a major public health problem in many developing countries. Smog-related illnesses are estimated to cause millions of deaths each year. The challenges of smog in megacities. Megacities are cities with populations of over 10 million people. There are currently 37 megacities in the world and this number is expected to grow to 43 by 2030. Megacities are particularly vulnerable to smog. This is because they have large populations and high concentrations of vehicles and industry. Additionally, megacities are often located in areas with poor air circulation, health impacts, increased respiratory problems, aggravation of pre-existing conditions, e.g., asthma, higher risk of heart disease and lung cancer, premature deaths due to long-term exposure, 2. Reduced visibility impaired visibility, affecting driving and aviation, increased risk of accidents, disruption of daily activities, 3. Environmental effects damage to plants and ecosystems, harm to wildlife, particularly birds, acid rain formation, impacting water bodies. 4. Economic impact decreased tourism and business activities. As a result, smog is a major problem in many megacities. Smog levels in megacities often exceed international air quality standards. The challenges of smog in climate change. Climate change is expected to exacerbate the problem of smog. This is because climate change is leading to warmer temperatures, which can increase the formation of ground-level ozone, a major component of smog. Additionally, climate change is expected to lead to more extreme weather events, such as droughts and heat waves. These events can also worsen smog levels. What can we do to reduce the smog disaster? There are a number of things that we can do to reduce the smog disaster, both as individuals and as a society. As individuals, we can use your car less and choose to walk, bike, or use buses and trains more often. Use less energy at home by turning off lights and appliances when we're not using them, and by weatherizing our homes to make them more energy efficient. Avoid using gasoline-powered lawnmowers and leaf blowers. Choose products that are low in volatile organic compounds of oxen. Do not burn the debris of paddy crops. As a society, 
We can invest in public transportation and other alternatives to driving. Pass laws to regulate vehicle emissions and industrial emissions. Support research into new technologies to reduce air pollution. Use the debris of paddy crops for domestic and farm purposes. By taking these steps, we can help to reduce smog and improve air quality for everyone. Solutions to smog. In addition to the traditional approaches to reducing the smog disaster, there are a number of unique solutions that are being explored. One unique solution is the use of green roofs. Green roofs are roofs with plants on them. Plants can help filter pollutants from the air and improve air quality. Another unique solution is the use of smog-eating towers. Smog-eating towers are large towers that use fans to draw in air and filters to remove pollutants. Smog is a serious problem, but there are a number of things that we can do to reduce it. By working together, we can create a cleaner and healthier future for everyone. Smog is a pervasive environmental issue with far-reaching consequences. It affects the health of millions, reduces visibility, damages ecosystems, imposes economic burdens, and contributes to climate change. As we continue to witness its detrimental impacts on megacities and regions worldwide, it is imperative that we prioritize collective efforts to reduce smog through cleaner energy sources, improved transportation systems, and stricter air quality regulations. Addressing the smog problem is not only an environmental necessity, but also a crucial step in safeguarding the well-being of present and future generations. Our commitment to cleaner, healthier air is an